Is your PC running slow? Games stuttering or freezing for no reason? Today, I'm going to show you how to give your Windows 11 setup a major upgrade by using a lightweight open source tool called Crapixer. This isn't some sketchy magic performance booster. It's a smart little utility created by a respected developer in the Windows tweaking community. It helps you cut out background clutter, boost performance, and even regain control over annoying UI changes Microsoft keeps pushing. All right, let's get into it. What is Crapixer? Crapixer is a new optimization tool for Windows 11, developed by a well-known GitHub user named Built by Bell. If you've heard of apps like Flyby 11 or TidyOS, you might already be familiar with his work. He's known for building lightweight, powerful utilities that improve Windows without overcomplicating things. The name might sound like a joke, but the tool is actually very practical. Crapixer mimics the interface of the classic CC Leaner, back when it was still good. It's meant to help you clean up junk, tweak performance settings, remove bloatware, and fine-tune privacy options, all from one place. How to download and set up Crapixer. All right, let's walk through getting Crapixer up and running. It's lightweight, free, and takes less than a minute to set up. But it can help fix really annoying UI lag and frame delay issues in some Windows setups. Head over to the Crapixer GitHub page. You'll find the link in the video description below. Once you're there, scroll down to the releases section. It's usually near the bottom or on the right-hand side if you're on desktop. Download the .zip file for the latest version. It's a super small file, just a few kilobytes, so no bloat or long installs here. Extract the zip to a folder on your desktop or somewhere easy to access. Inside the extracted folder, double-click crapixer.exe to launch the tool. If Windows Smart Screen gives you a warning pop-up, that's normal. Just click More Info, then hit Run Anyway. This happens because Crapixer isn't digitally signed, which is common for small open source apps. But don't worry, it's safe to use, and if you're curious, the full source code is available right on GitHub for transparency. First look at Crapixer. When you open Crapixer, you'll see a clean interface that looks familiar if you've ever used older PC cleaning apps. But don't let the simplicity fool you, it packs a lot of useful features. There are tabs like Issues, Core Tweaks for Performance, Edge, Disables unwanted features from Microsoft Edge. UI, clean up the Windows interface. Gaming, optional settings to enhance performance. Privacy and ads, shut down unnecessary tracking and telemetry. Apps, remove pre-installed junk. Plugins, integrate with other powerful tools. Let's break down each one. Issue slash system tab, performance and behavior tweaks. In this tab, you can enable a bunch of helpful optimizations, like show detailed blue screen error messages, enable verbose boot and login messages, speed up shutdown time, disable network throttling, optimize system responsiveness, enable end task option in taskbar, disable hibernation. Each of these tweaks can improve your system's responsiveness or make diagnostics easier. For example, showing detailed BSOD info instead of the sad face helps you actually figure out why your system crashed. Microsoft Edge tab, disable background bloat. Don't use Microsoft Edge. Crapixer can help you disable all its background activity. Options include, disable Edge's startup boost, which runs it in the background even if you never open it. Block Edge from auto launching on login. Remove Edge from context menus. These might not make or break your system performance, but they can cut down on unnecessary memory usage and background processes. Gaming tab, handle with care. All right, this section can help or hurt, depending on how you use it. So let me break it down. You'll see some people online recommending you disable Game DVR or Xbox Game Bar to save resources and reduce background processes. And yes, that can help on lower end systems. But here's the catch. In my experience, Turning off game DVR completely can actually cause issues in some games, like broken overlays, recording features not working, or even launch errors. It's one of those tweaks that sounds good, until it breaks something weird. If you're running on lower-end hardware, disabling extra visual effects in the gaming tab can free up a bit of RAM and GPU usage. Think of things like capture overlays, broadcast tools, and UI animations. But if you've got a decent or high-end system, you can likely leave those settings on. They're optimized for most setups and won't hurt performance. So unless you really know what you're doing or you're troubleshooting a specific problem, I don't recommend disabling game DVR entirely. Privacy and Ads tab, reclaim your data. This is honestly one of my favorite parts of Crapixer. 
With just a few clicks, you can take back a surprising amount of control over your data. You'll be able to turn off activity history tracking, disable location services, stop telemetry and diagnostic data from being sent to Microsoft, block personalized ads and app suggestions, and even remove Copilot from your right-click context menu. If you're someone who values privacy or just prefers a cleaner, less intrusive Windows experience, this section is definitely worth exploring. It's a great way to limit what's running in the background and what Microsoft collects without always making it obvious. Apps tab, say goodbye to bloatware. This is where Crapixer really starts to shine. Because let's be honest, most Windows installations come with a ton of pre-installed apps that you'll probably never use. They take up space, clutter your start menu, and some of them even run in the background. The Apps tab gives you a clean, organized list of these default applications. Everything from Xbox Game Bar to OneDrive, Microsoft Teams, Weather, News, and yes, even Candy Crush. You can go through the list and select specific apps you want to remove one by one. Or, if you just want a clean slate, hit Select All and remove them all in a single go. Once you're ready, click Run Fixer and Crapixer will quietly uninstall every app you selected. No need to hunt them down manually or deal with uninstall errors. It's fast, simple, and a great way to streamline your system and reduce background clutter. If you've ever wished you could start fresh without doing a full reset, this tab gets you surprisingly close. Plugins tab. Extend Crapixer's power. This is where things get really interesting. Crapixer supports plugins, and there are some great ones available. Chris Titus Tech Optimizer, another excellent system tweaking tool. Uninstall OneDrive. If you don't use Cloud Sync enhanced bloatware detection, remove AI features like Copilot, BleachBit, Advanced System Cleaner, WinGet App Updater. Updates all your apps via Windows Package Manager. Installing a plugin is simple. Just select it, click Install, then go back to the Fixer tab and run it again. Analyze, Fix, and Restore. Here's the basic workflow. Click Analyze to scan your system. Red equals unoptimized. Green equals already optimized. Select what you want to tweak. Hit Run Fixer. Done. You can also click Restore at any time to undo all changes and return Windows to its previous state. This is great if you accidentally tweak something you shouldn't have or just want to reset. Bonus. Customize the look. Crapixer even lets you. Enable dark mode for the system and apps. Align your taskbar to the center or left. Bring back the full classic right-click menu in Windows 11. Turn off rounded corners and animation effects. All small things. But they help personalize your desktop and improve usability. Extra tip. Use BleachBit for cleanup. Crapixer includes a basic disk cleanup. But if you want deeper cleaning, I recommend installing BleachBit as a plugin. It's a free and open source cleaner that clears browser caches, old temp files, log data, and more. I personally use it alongside Crapixer to keep my system clean and responsive. If you have questions, drop them in the comments. I love hearing your thoughts, especially if you've tried Crapixer yourself or have another tool you'd recommend. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, stay sharp, and have fun tweaking your system.